Good day, subscribers. Today is episode one of semester two, CS7637, Knowledge-Based AI, Initial Look. If you would like to see the previous episode before watching this one, click the banner in the upper right-hand corner. In the last episode, we took an in-depth look at CS6475 Computational Photography. Computational Photography was the course I took before this course and was the first course I took in the OMS CS program. We talked about what the class is about, what would be needed, what kind of work you'll be doing, and some of the Python programming you'd be doing in the class. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers out there. This episode's comic is about the only way to truly bring a server back. In this episode, we'll be going through my current course that I'm taking over the summer, CS7637 Knowledge-Based AI. This course is the second course I've taken in the OMS CS program and the first summer course I've taken. So what's the class about? Well, the main points of the class are how does AI work, some examples of AI, and AI in modern society. And before taking the class, from the reviews that I've read and the work that I've done so far, the main things you'll need to know is either Python or Java. Taking a look at the breakdown of the course, it's made up of three assignments, three projects, and three exams. The three homeworks have four questions per homework, and they're each multi-sectioned. These homeworks don't take an incredibly extensive amount of time, and the best thing about it is you are able to get ahead on the homeworks. If you have the time, you can watch the lecture videos on Udacity, and then do the homework questions whenever you feel like it. The three projects are actually one project that's split into three sections. The project is based upon the Raven's progressive matrices, which are a set of matrices to measure intelligence. And the project is to create an AI agent that is able to go through and answer correctly these matrices. I haven't gotten to the first exam yet, so I'll hold off on that for now. Another interesting point that you can see is the grading scheme on the right. As you can see, the total class is out of 105% rather than just 100. That performance bonus is really what brings up that extra 5% which makes me feel like it'll be easier to do well in the class. This video was more of just a short look at the course I'm taking. As the semester goes on, I'll be making more videos about the course. And of course, at the end, I'll be doing a full review of the course, just as I did with CS6475 Computational Photography. If you have any questions or video requests, leave a comment. Thanks and subscribe.